Have you ever thought of lowering your electricity bill and saving the planet? Fortunately, there's an easy solution for that. Community Solar is a way to buy solar electricity without the hassle of building permits, high upfront costs, maintenance, or angry neighbors. With Community Solar, you can invest in a larger scale solar installation and get credit for the electricity produced. The current Community Solar Garden policy in Minnesota was established by legislation in the 2013 session. The law laid out a few important criteria. One, you are able to buy up to 120% of your annual electricity use through a community solar vendor. Two, the community solar garden will need to be in your current utility provider's territory and you will need to live in the same county as the project or in an adjacent county. Three, Excel Energy, Minnesota's largest utility, is required to have community solar gardens, but other utilities are implementing community solar gardens as well. Let's look at how a community solar garden works. Basically, it functions very much like a big residential PV array, but has some benefits over residential rooftop solar. One of the biggest benefits is that it allows more people to participate in clean energy development. Ken Bradley, a solar developer explains. Uh, you know, if you look at our rooftops in general, only about 20% of rooftops you can do solar on. The majority of the market can't do rooftop solar if they want to. And then there's other issues like people don't own their place, they're renters, or it's a condo, or it's a townhome, and they're not allowed to do it. Community solar really serves that other 80% of the market, <clears throat> and even that other 20% that just may not want to do it. So anyone with a utility bill can be a part of community solar. Even if you have a suitable rooftop for solar panels, Community solar gardens may still be a good option. Community solar gardens benefit from economies of scale, likely lowering the cost per watt of electricity compared to a home array. Community solar gardens also offer an easier, more flexible way for people to lower their electric bill. I don't have to touch my house. I don't have to cut down my trees. I can do solar by just subscribing to a program where other people do all the work. It moves with me, so it gives me that flexibility if I'm not staying in one place that I can take it along. You can subscribe in smaller amounts, so you can put a lot less money into it than installing a solar system of your own. Since community solar is new in Minnesota, there are only a handful of solar gardens presently established. In Colorado, a community solar leader, their policies have been around since 2010 and have thrived. But Colorado's policies are more restrictive, so Minnesota's future should be even brighter. Now, the really unique thing about um, Minnesota's community solar policy, and I guess as it applies to Excel, is that there's no cap. I think in, in Colorado, it might be something in the neighborhood of 10 megawatts or so per RFP period. So there's a very competitive process in other states um, where there's a capped program, Minnesota doesn't have that. Community solar gardens are an opportunity to shift our electric grid to a more decentralized model, one with a lower environmental impact. In doing so, people have a bigger role in their energy. They are more than just electricity users. They are producers too. That you literally shift the paradigm of the grid, I believe it could. In other words, from the traditional model of centralized generation and everybody pays and it's sort of like taxes, it's unavoidable, we're all sort of subject to pay for, for energy services. Now all of a sudden you can create a, an internet-like grid where you know, generation can be in the hands of the general population too. Now that you know about community solar gardens, here's how to join. Just subscribe with one of Minnesota's growing community solar firms or find out how through your electricity provider. There are a number of them that are in the works. Uh, we've worked with Minnesota Community Solar that has a couple active projects. Uh, the one that they are currently selling subscriptions for is not in the metro area, so you kind of have to keep your ears open. But they're one that you can express an interest with them and they will let you know when there is a project available that you could subscribe to. You can be part of the solution. Participate in a cost-effective and environmentally friendly community solar garden.